Now just take a look at the ball earth, or the supposed ball earth, where the axis is 23.4 degrees off being vertical. It leads you to 66.6 .6 degrees off horizontal. If you think this is just a coincidence, take a look at this. Earth is supposedly orbiting around the sun and moving at 66,600 miles an hour. Another thing I want to point out here, let's take a look. Now let's take a look at this model with the Earth supposedly orbiting the sun and of course the moon orbiting Earth. And while this is all taking place, Earth is supposedly rotating. Now let's take a look at this image here. Polaris, the North Star. Take a look at this model here. Now, explain to me, for anybody out there, how is it possible for the North Star or Polaris to remain constant above the supposed North Pole while it's orbiting around the Sun? It makes absolutely no sense because it doesn't happen. It does not take place. That simple. Now, let's take a look at this. Like I said, the Earth supposedly spinning at a thousand miles an hour at the equator. Gravity holds on the water, and the water is perfectly still. How is this possible? If the Earth is supposedly spinning at a thousand miles an hour. Wouldn't you think the water would fly off? This is not possible. People can't grasp reality because all they have been fed are lies. I showed this image before under the dome by Stephen King. Again, mockery in plain sight. Truth in plain sight. Let's look at this uh, space shuttle launch from Cape Canaveral in Florida. As I mentioned before, the reason they have these shuttle launches or supposed shuttle launches into space, you know, off the coast, so basically these rockets can land right in the water, right in the ocean. That's what it's all about. And later on, again. You see the supposed space shuttles, which are nothing more than airplanes coming for a landing. It's just like a movie. It's all edited, fit together for the public. Let's take a look at this image as well. You really believe this space shuttle is going to outer space? This is completely ridiculous. Now let's take a look at this image here, put together by David from deep inside the rabbit hole. Just look at the flight paths that airlines make people take. You will not see a plane crossing from South Africa to Australia. That would be, of course, the shortest route. Here's the flat earth model. Like he states, there's no shortcuts. And of course, UN logo, the same exact thing. Now you can go to this one website, which is called Flight Radar 24. And it shows all this flight activity worldwide. Interesting enough, you see all these planes flying all over, all over the place. Understand, the northern, so-called northern hemisphere, and with the flat earth model, it does not affect flight paths. When you get to the south, that's where everything is stretched out. This is why you don't see these flights. Take a look here. You'll notice you'll never see, if you go to Flight Radar 24, you'll never see flights you know, in the process of crossing from Southern and South America to South Africa or South Africa to Australia. What I witnessed myself watching it over time is you won't see an actual plane crossing, but right when it reaches land, then all of a sudden it appears on radar. How amazing. I'm talking about how the game is rigged with this matrix and why so many can't see or understand what's taking place. Let's look at some of the deceivers. Of course, you know, the public school system is going to teach, you know, the ball earth, which is expected. When it comes to these, to these so-called Christians, these true speakers such as Ken Hovind, this is how they control the matrix. They're going to have him tell you the absolute 100% truth when it comes to evolution. But he's not going to tell you the truth about the flat earth. So many of his presentations, you'll see that globe in plain sight right in front of his desk. He's pointing at it. And again, giving you 95% truth when he talks about evolution being a lie. When it comes to the ball earth, he's going to deny it. He's going to deny the earth is flat. He's going to stick to the ball earth theory. This is how they operate. 
Americans. Take a look at Ken Hoven. He was a member of the Prophecy Club. Nothing but a club of deceivers. I pointed this out before on my previous channel with all the Masonic hand signs. With this one with Doc Marquis. It just so happens their zip code in Topeka, Kansas starts with 666. Now what are the chances of that? They go out of their way to have the occultic numbers in plain sight. Like I just referenced, 666, 777, the 33, the 911, always in plain sight. And also, with the signs and symbols, the sign of silence, all these supposed oath keepers of keeping secrets. Interesting enough, look at this Canadian astronaut, Chris Hadfield, doing the same sign of silence. More recent news story with David Bowie supposedly passing away. He is part of the rigged game, the matrix that we live in. Now, some might ask if this is all true, why does the news say so? Why does the news expose this as truth? Understand, people that are awake already realize this. The media is 100% controlled. Some might say, well, what about my preacher? What about my pastor? Why don't they tell me the truth? You see the problem here? All the Masonic hand signs, just like all the rest of the deceivers. These are all Freemasons, all liars. The game is 100% rigged. Just look at John Higgy's hands here, the devil horns. Take a look at this hand sign. What he does twice here. Just like Anton LaVey. These are all Satanists. When, it's, when the Bible states Satan deceives the world, that is very literal as you can see. So the people that go to church, that attend services, they don't hear their preacher say 9-11 is not what we're told. Sandy Hook was a hoax. What happened in Paris, France is a hoax. This is because all those involved, all of TV is 100% controlled. And again, this is how they control the matrix.